Little People Big World story Roloff gave an update on her four-year-old son Jackson, who underwent surgery to help correct the bowing in his legs. The 30-year-old revealed her son had the surgery last year. In a post on her Instagram stories explaining the procedure, Tori said, He had plates put on his growth plates. Nothing changed immediately. As his legs grow, they will hopefully straighten and we will avoid a more invasive surgery. He has been overcompensating while walking to avoid his shoes touching his boo-boos, which is why they look more bowed, however they aren't changed and he's not in any pain. We're hoping over the next five to six years the pigeon toe and the bowing will be gone. Jackson is Tori's oldest son. The TLC star is also mother to two-year-old Lila and is pregnant with baby number three. When Jackson underwent his initial surgery, Tori provided an update, including a photo of her son sleeping in a hospital bed. He was tucked under a blanket as a stuffed animal rested next to him. The LPBW star shared that Jackson had surgery in the caption, writing, Our sweet Jackson had surgery today to help correct the bowing in his legs. This kid time and time again blows us away. He was so brave and confident. He made Zack and I so proud as he talked with the doctors and nurses and was wheeled away without worry. Today has been one of the hardest days I've ever had. Watching your child in pain is never something a parent wants to go through. However, we are trusting his doctors and our lord that this was the best decision for him. Love you, baby J. Let's go home and make popcorn. But any sentiment and goodwill given to Tori was turned around after fans accused her of forcing Jackson to make a commercial right after his surgery. In an Instagram story, Tori mentioned that her son had been feeling crummy lately due to his surgery. The caption stated, he doesn't look like it, but he begged me to do our Kowiko box as soon as it got here. The youngster then rested his head on the kitchen table while his mother described the art project as a really fun activity together. While following the instructions, Jackson started putting the pieces together. LPBW fans jumped on the comments section in Reddit to say they were not pleased with Tori making the advertisement with her son, especially after his surgery. One Redditor said, I noticed his expression too, poor baby. And another wrote, poor little guy, glad they moved to a house with no stairs. A third chimed in, she claims he wanted to do it, no chance, Tori could have done it herself. A commentator pointed out, her video made it seem like he was over it before it even began. Jackson's surgery comes after his parents announced they are expecting a third child. Tori shared the happy news in an Instagram post in November. The TV personality shared a photo of a sign that read, Baby Roloff number 3 coming spring 2022. The baby news came after Tori revealed she had suffered a heartbreak in miscarriage back in March. The mother of two explained during an LPBW episode that they found out about the tragedy several weeks into the pregnancy during an ultrasound appointment. She said at the time, The first couple of weeks I was feeling pretty sick, but then leading up to the doctor's appointment I had been feeling better, which in hindsight I guess wasn't a good thing. Zach recalled that they learned about the miscarriage while at the doctor's appointment, which started off pretty standard. He said that the tone of the room kind of shifted, adding, You realize maybe something's not right here. After the ultrasound technician left at Tori's, doctor entered the room by giving her a hug. The TV star said they just knew. An emotional Tori said through tears. Everyone says that it was not something that I did or something we did. It was just this baby wasn't viable for life. But it's hard to not wonder what happened on that day. Tori said that she already feels back to normal, which is the hardest part. Zack added it was upsetting to watch Tori go through this and he has more empathy for women that must carry. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.